Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bright Ops, and welcome back to Heart of Iron 4 Equestrian War. We are continuing the rise of the Crystal Empire as a. Well, a part of. Admittedly, a part of the Equestria. Equestria Spear of Influence. Still, but. Honestly, I don't feel confident enough to go at my own. So let's see, by doing this, we can at least properly get this. We have to actually bloody set something up with them. Stalingrad in our town. So to do, do. Okay, so they've been added to S Stalingrad, so. Yeah, no one cares. It had an independent existence for a while, but it's gone now. Alright, and we are now subordinates, so that has, if nothing else, Referendum for independence? What? Oh. Needed one of them, not both. Okay. Okay, we'll gain a research slot from that one, so... Good. The status quo continues. Although Princess Cadence is not death to the wishes of her citizens, the issue of the Crystal Empire status has remained unresolved. The plea for freedom has remained in the mind of many crystal ponies since the nation's re-emergence. They worry about their culture slowly withering away, and much of their industrial input being given to Equestria. Large-scale protests have been occurring for days now, demanding a fair and unbiased referendum on the matter. Despite the vocal calls for change, little violence has occurred, with the government taking no action or stance on the matter. Weeks turn into moons, and the pony's fervor has diminished, as they are cynically ex have as they have cynically accepted the fact that they will remain Equestria's vassal state, a step away from fuller annexation. Nothing needs to change, so we're now okay. So we've at least lost most of the negatives for being a part of being a vassal of Equestria. Which is good. Construction, how's that going? Well, we're slowly growing there, but such is life. Just push forward, people are still training. Oh yeah, did we ever actually... Oh right, the Volunteer Brigade. Let's have a look-see. You're just infantry. God damn. Oh right, we didn't get started on the whole bloody artillery thing, did we? Oh well. See, combat width should be about 20. I believe 20 was the magic number. Okay, so we do need anti-tank and artillery to actually be done for stuff. That's fine, but just give it time. We also need to boost up, if we can boost up this thing, we can get rid of that somber scare crap and not have to worry about a... Fascist states being for fascist states of a war. Oh, we have military factories now. Thank. F How many do we have? We have. Okay, we can have three on the support equipment because at least then we're we're making support equipment. Okay. Um, do do do. 
Let's see, anti-tank. Where's the good stuff? We have... What do we need? We are missing anti-tank and artillery. Okay, one of you, and anti-tank. That's the rest. So at least we're now producing the stuff now. That we weren't before... So wait, why did we suddenly... Why the hell did we suddenly gain a lot of military factories? I'm not sure. Oh, but well, we gained a lot of... Um, oh, I don't think we're sending stuff to Equestria anymore. So, stuff is being produced locally. Nice. So that's a bonus, not, not gonna lie. Wants to provide us with howitzers on a monthly basis. Sure. Why not? We'll take the free stuff. It's probably not gonna last long, but... Yeah, it didn't, but... Well, no one's that surprised. Alright. Yeah, you can right-click, can't you? We don't know what their focus is, either. Which sucks, but... Oh, well. We need more stuff, so... What do we want to do here? You know what? We're gonna cr we're creating the cryptology department. If nothing else, we'll be able to have something. Computing machine, good stuff. So that increases our research speed by a fair bit. Industries and yep, improve machine tools. Wait for th stuff to start happening. See, there are few. This is the weirdest civil war. Let's have a look, see. Let's see, in the most unexpected of twists, the conflict between the houses of Eerie and uh, Irie and Eerie have been ended with a treaty of friendship and peace. With heavy involvement from the matriarch of House Avian, Lady Katrina, to do. Ivarius Iri and Vincent Eri have agreed to give up their ambitions of unifying the Duchy of Vienna in the might of arms with the might of arms for now. Many are dumbfounded by such a development, both after all both leaders have been known for their stubbornness and unwillingness to bend the knee or even consider peace. But a bigger question still remains what now? After all, the three houses existing as independent domains has been a development of the Civil War. None of them had actually existed as separate realms before. Can they even survive like this? And furthermore, how long can this new status, status quo continue? So, just having a look over here, it is these... Yeah, it's these three here that... These three here that if that event was about... Okay, we need more political power so we can root out the whole somber thing. Ah, and the Yaks have finished. The Kingdom of Yakyakistan is now united. Good for them. Let's see, division... 
Let's see, someone doesn't have orders, but no orders assigned. Ponies at the ready. All right. So we've got. I thought we had you. All right. You're set. You're meant to be setting up as a frontline unit there, in case the changelings show up. But that's okay. We have industry upgrade. Good. Let's see, slightly ahead of time, we could probably afford. Yeah, we can afford this. We can improve the efficiency we get, the resources we've got. So we have that working for us. And that network has worked, so we've gained another thing. Let's see, what do you, what does this do? Let's see. Let's see, Na grants national spirit economic integration, which grants resource efficiency, production efficiency. Do, do, do. Let's see, we also gain more civilian factories, or we can go for a lot of infrastructure all over the place. Alternatively, we could start... Yeah, let's start pushing... Actually, you know what? First things first. Let's get that. Because free bloody... Having a whole bunch of free... Actual... Tur free tur Form development. So we've got... Agency is up now. Nice. And while we're at it, we c should probably... Field hospitals would be good too. Okay, no enemy ciphers being decrypted. Let's see, click on the... Click on map to add a country to decryption target. See, how long is... See, nine, 960 days. We're probably gonna have to... Yeah, we're gonna have to continue upgrading this place. Let's see, form department. Let's see, decryption power increases. Government cipher school, let's see. You know what, first we'll start with the radio thing. Because we get bonuses if we can actually understand what it is, if we can actually crack the changeling ciphers. Modify government. We are not going to do that. Because, as much as I would love to, because we need that political power to get rid of the whole. Ponies at the ready. Welcome aboard, you can join the... Yeah, you can join the just the base army. Yeah. Welcome to the infantry, boy. Welcome to the infantry. Alright, how many more do we need to... Okay, so... Okay, this one up went dropped a fair bit because of that. Nice. And we're gonna... You know what? We're gonna continue working on that. Let's make it better. Because yes, taking th those civilian factories to improve the agency does slow down our production a bit. We do get the benefits of... Uh, 
our spy network is a lot better. Ready to do our part. Welcome aboard. See, Socialist Republic has declared war. That's over on the other side of the world. Okay, low pony power. That's not great. We're going to have to work on military stuff in the future, but once we get the infrastructure set up, we'll be a lot we'll be in a lot stronger spot. Okay, radio interception group. Let's have a look see. Okay, that went from a couple of years to yeah, that definitely went from a couple of years to actually having just a year. Okay, machine-assisted cryptology. Alright, see, um... Yeah, we're gonna just work on increasing our decryption power. For now, because when we set our minds to it, we want to be able to figure out defend what our in what our friends and enemies are planning pretty damn quick. Okay, so the Crystal City to cancel it railway that gives us a fair bit of free infrastructure. All right, well, Metropolis. Oh, we can't because we did the other thing. Alright, we might as well strengthen the... Yeah, we'll strengthen economic ties. Just We might as well just finish the whole damn tree. Alright, soon we'll be free of bloody somber scare, which will speed up our ability a bit. All right, so Skyfall Republic, that's that's a Griffonian problem. How do I hold a gun with hoops? Join the army. And proved machine tools. Great. And you know what? I think we can push for... Yeah. It's a little ahead of its time, but we can push for it. Come on. Superior firepower is now on the field. Good. Oh, we can also hire a new operative. So let's see. Pony, seducer, and natural order. Escape artist and seducer. So, let's see, infiltration risk and tough. Um, in this case, I think we'll go with Comet Colt. Welcome aboard, you bastard. And we're going to have you build your an information network over in Changeling Lands. Because we don't so much need the counterintelligence as we do need... Oh. Alright, crack down. We're cracking down on the best on this somber scare thing. We're getting rid of that. And you're about a day away from being done, so that... Yep, that's sped, speeding things up a lot. Okay, current, we can add more. Hmm. 
Though... Damn it, we might be better off just starting to work on other operations. Like, actually, you know what? We'll actually build a proper cipher. Like, improve our the ability of our own documents to withstand being deciphered. Let's have a look, see. Outdated industrial sector, we do need to upgrade that. Because fixing that would help us a lot. But that will be next. That's next on the list. Hopefully. Alright, construction. How's that going? But still adding more factories. That's good. Okay, so cryptology level two. So that's increased, made it harder for them to figure out our own stuff. Okay. And you know what? We'll go for level three because stuff it. See, because we're a pony, this is probably this is taking a bit longer, but. Slowly, we're building an actual network, so... So that is good, if nothing else. And it seems that Equestria is also having a pretty good counterintelligence as well. Alright. And another army joins the thing. No, we're gonna cancel those last two things because we have other things to worry about. Like, for example, we should probably... Okay, how- what does this one do? Okay, we might as well go with this because that increases our production speed, civilian industry and all that stuff, so- and but research bonuses to industrial, which is always nice. So we are slowly becoming a, a powerhouse. But first things first, we should probably look into... Armored for... Let's see... Oh. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait for more stuff before we can actually properly set up a heavy tank division. Let's see, uncertain times, don't care. Do not care in the slightest. Though it must be said, we should probably build, like, an airfield in this area. Just to give... some proper superiority. Okay, cryptology department. We don't have enough civilian factories to go more machine-assisted, but... Alrighty, to do. We should probably. F 
yeah, we should probably start training, like, start the operative training thing. Okay, I don't think we can become spy masters because we are subservient to Equestria, because we are a... Fe because we are connected to them. Alright, we have field hospitals now. We'll add them to... Yeah, we were, we're gonna have to add those to ble to our th things in the future. Maintenance companies as well. We're gonna need those. Sombra cultists arrested. The quiet of the early morning was shattered today when explosions rang out across multiple towns and cities in the Crystal Empire, including the capital itself. Witnesses report Crystal Royal Guard ponies in full uniforms breaking down the doors of homes, firefights in the streets, and several bombs going off. When reached for comment, Princess Maya Amor Cadenza was quoted as saying, A cult that we have been watching for some time has recently crossed the line into terrorism. Rather than let our subjects be hurt by them, we ordered the Royal Guard to apprehend them. It is regretful that there was violence, but rest assured that those who remain will be given the best medical care possible and fair trials when they are fit. After that statement, a poster ap appeared near the Crystal Palace that King Sombra's return is nigh. However, the proprietor was found and arrested shortly after. It seems that at last, the threat of Sombra's return is over. So that's... yep, it's gone. Sombra's return... Sombra is no more. A threat to us. Which is good. Let's see, we could do some operations in the future. But we're gonna have to wait for now. Yeah, we'll wait for the time being, because we're still setting up the network. I mean, it's hard to, when you're a pony, actually infiltrating something. Okay, so. Wing body. The war with the wing body has ended. And Wingbody is still around. Yeah, United Communes of Wingbody. The Communists remain. How is New the Commonwealth of New Mareland doing? Yeah, they're they're surviving. No harm in that. Let's see, Florona repeals bank secrecy. The centuries-old tradition of client confidentiality came to an end early today in the free city of Fiona. Its leading council, the Singanari, un 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 unanimously agreed in a vote to repeal numerous laws enacted over the years that made disclosing customer information a publishable, punishable offence. Already thousands of documents have been published, and now hundreds of wealthy individuals across Scrofonia have been exposed for using Fionia bank accounts to evade taxes and launder money. Millions have already been confiscated. While the banks have lost many customers, their honest and law-abiding clients are happier than ever. Okay. Good for them. Alright, localized training centers. Good. Good, good, good. So what does that do? Enemy nationally recruit chances go up. Occup occupied friendly nationality recruit chances are up. up. Rec operative recruitment chances and choices goes up by one. And locks local agent recruit decisions. Alright. You know what, we're gonna spend some more time just increasing the whole breaking codes and all that. Oh, we can actually recruit local recruitment operatives. We can... Okay. Oh, 
Okay, so effectively we could potentially train a local changeling operative. Which might not be a bad idea, honestly. Considering that's our main our main focus of effort is gonna be in changeling lands. Though in hindsight we should probably also focus on Stalingrad as well. Though to a much lesser degree than much lesser degree than before than would have otherwise been, since they picked a relatively moderate Hang on. Ah yes. Um yeah, we'll do some military trainings for for the army just to boost its exper army experience. Deep integrations done. So it was you. That's construction speed, production efficiency, and civilian industries. All right. All right. Final one is power forever boosts stability, boosts political gain, and boosts harmony. Nice. And I think the only one left in that tree is literally a military thing that boosts land doctrine. Which, admittingly, is still useful, but... Okay, infiltrate civilian. So what's our... We could prepare for this, but we don't... I don't think we're ready for it just yet. Cryptology. So, less than a hundred days before... less than two hundred days before we can decrypt changeling stuff. Okay, low, low Grif Griffonia has become unaligned, so... So, they're currently going to hell in a handbasket. But okay, can we actually set up a proper heavy heavy armored division? Let's see, armored division, armored division. Armored heavy tank, heavy tank. Heavy tank and heavy tank destroyers. Nice. Okay, come up with the sixteen. We're still working on it, but. At least we can have some of them. We can start training the armored division, so... Let's see... No, we don't want three. Okay, we'll work on that. Oh, that's right, we don't actually- we haven't actually started production on heavy tanks and stuff. Oh boy. See, frame factory, we need... If we take away some guns for a bit, if we produce it... 
some additional anti-tank toad, uh, toad stuff that will help. But, but we, we need more military factories is the thing. Okay, we've got more operations, so resistance contacts. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we can work on stuff. We can, we can wait a bit. Actually, wait. Do we still? Okay, we're still. We can wait a bit. We can wait just a little longer. Okay. We're gonna recruit a changeling operative. So that, I think, is going to take a little while. But, for in doing so... They'll help us out a lot. Okay, Cryptology. We can't really work on the last bits of the levels. Upgrade research, what? Oh. Nothing we have to worry about. Alright. Yeah, might as well go army to get some intelligence going for the various branches so they're a little bit better. Things coming, almost done there. Good. How's our empire looking? Pretty solid, but we could be more stable. Yeah, we can definitely be a lot more stable. Alright, how's research looking? Okay, Griffonian Empire, don't worry about it for now. Okay, so we got two things. Mia Mora forever, so we've now gained some stability. We can... Eh, screw it, we're already here. We can just speed, we'll just power through that. So army to army, civilian as well. See, almost done there too. So let's have a look at operations. I think we might start with, if we can make some, ah, uh, we need at least two people, and the outlook could be at excellent. Though I'm pretty sure if we, no, we're gonna cancel that for now solely because, we're not gonna do that now because our agents are doing other things. Like, you're getting us an intel network, you're currently defending, but we don't have to worry too much about that. Actually, hang on, we'll try and... Do we need both? Because you're defending homelands, we can... Outlook routine. So, 
So risk is low, but... Oh. So is... Okay, I'm gonna have to learn how this stuff works, but... Yeah, I'll see. I'll wait. I'll try and get a third operative before we start committing mi to missions. If for no other reason than just to cover our bases. And once we'll finish up that military staff thing, because that way at least it's over and done with. All right, and we're. Almost actually done with bloody... We're almost done with the civilian factory. Oh, agent killed. It appears that Comet, Comet Colt, one of our agents deployed in the Changeling Kingdom, has made the ultimate sacrifice and died in the line of duty. Reports from Changeling sources are naturally scarce, but it appears that Comet Colt was being tracked by Changeling counterintelligence. It seems likely that he was about to be captured and either chose death to avoid giving out vital information under interrogation or was killed while resisting arrest. A shame, but... Oh well. If nothing else, we should hopefully be able to actually have... Okay, another Grafonian Empire thing. Construction's good. Um, let's see. Commando training. Get that going. Because that would be useful for the people to have that. Advanced machine tools, too. Because we can still work on the industry. A shame to have lost an agent like that, but he went down swings. He went down... He didn't get captured, he died, so... Maintenance companies. Good. That's going to be helpful. And we'll also work in field hospitals, which... Oh, we need more stuff to make that work. Yay. Because, honestly, once war does kick off, being able to... Being able to preserve as much of our... Okay, that seems a lot more Griffonian stuff. Whoops, scrolled up way too far. But yeah, that's more stuff over here. Alright. I guess the plan is we'll wait until we get our oper until we can finish off the operative stuff. At which point we will probably wrap up this episode. Okay, we can recruit an agent, but first we're going to let the commando training finish up. I think. There we go. Oh yeah, we should probably be looking into pony bloody stuff. Yeah, we sh Yeah, we should have. Monthly pop- we can put up monthly population a bit. Alright. Agents recruited. Okay, changeling. Let's see, changeling agent. Do -do, you're a natural order person? Okay. Welcome aboard, Pe Peppermint. Codename Pe Codename Peppermint. Love it. Offer is killed. We're almost done. Intel. We're almost gains our thing, which is good. Ah, uh, screw it. We can improve our passive defenses. All right, we're gonna send her in. 
Hang on, can you? Because I don't think you would have... Yeah, changeling nationality, so... Okay, so you'd be able to exist in this area just fine. Without any major troubles. And I'm not seeing any... Na not seeing any actual... Negatives for you, so... Yeah. Okay, decisions... Ah, we're slowly building stuff back up again. I thought we had excavation too, but I guess we don't. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay, nothing major at the moment. Though we do need more, better production. At some point. Because that would be great. Okay, equestrian military staff is also out, done and out of the way. So we've gotten this wet path complete. We don't have to worry about it anymore. We can't start this one because we've already done subordinate. Alright, military expansion, which will increase pony power and gives our, makes our armies better. And we can start moving all this stuff down here. Or we can go down Innovations, which has its uses. Um, you know what, we'll start with Innovations because that leads us to more research slots, which can be useful. But, for now, yes, for now I think we will, and we'll end it here. Until next time, my name is Bright Ops, I look forward to hearing from you, and stay safe out there. Take care.